What's up guys? Uh, today I want to talk to you about way stations and port of entries. And I'm probably going to throw some stuff in about highway patrol, state troopers. Your first, the first time you ever encounter highway patrol or DOT will be at a way station more than likely. I can almost guarantee you it will be at a way station the first time you run into any kind of law enforcement. Now for new drivers, this is a uh, daunting, it's nerve wracking. I remember the first time I went through a way station, I was, I didn't know what to do or what to expect because honestly way stations never crossed my mind. I never researched or watched YouTube videos trying to figure out what I need to do when I go through one. I completely forgot, forgot that they even existed until I was actually on the road and I saw a sign that said, all trucks exit and half a mile. So I didn't even, I was extremely nervous when I went through my first way station and more than likely all of you will be too. First let me just say that way stations are very simple. They're not something you need to be worried about at all. Your first time you might be nervous, hopefully after watching this video not as nervous as I was, but don't worry about way stations. DOT, Department of Transportation, Highway Patrol, the state troopers, they're not out to get you. They are not. Almost everybody thinks they are. And they see an officer, they get scared and nervous. They're not, at, not out to get you. I've been through thousands of way stations, and I've been, only been inspected twice. Out of those two inspections, I passed 100%, didn't get one write-up, didn't get one point on a uh, one CSA point on my license even though the officer saw things and pointed things out that he could have wrote me up for both times so don't worry about way stations or DLT they're not out to get you and I'm going to show you some clips from my dash cam of me going through way stations to give you an idea what to expect I'm also going to show going through a uh, port of entry in El Paso Texas port of entry and the way stations are basically the same except that you have border patrol working at the port of entries and the way stations usually have DOT or Department of Transportation officers. As for, as for people saying they avoid way stations and try to go around them, there's no need to do that. Not, in, not with CRST anyways. You're not going to be overweight ever and if you are then it's your fault because you're supposed to weigh your load before you or as soon as you pick it up you're supposed to take it to the scale and weigh it so don't don't even worry about avoiding way stations as for the gps yes gps does tell you where the way stations are i've got mine set to give me an alert two miles before i get there plus most way stations have blinking signs that let you know that you're about to enter a way station now let's see where was i at Almost all way stations, once you enter them, they'll have a sign as you get closer to about, about one mile away. It'll say, all commercial vehicles, one mile, next exit. And then you get down the road and you should see, some of them have two, uh, an LED sign that will light up saying, truck okay to bypass. That means you can skip the way station. You can just drive past it. Or it'll say, truck must exit, which means you have to exit to the way station. Some of them will have a sign saying open and closed. And some of them have a sign blinking that says all trucks exit when this sign is blinking. There's, I mean, there's a lot of different variety of way stations, but they all do the same thing. Once you enter the way station, as you'll see in the clips I'm about to show, usually there's a, a pre-way. It's like two little scales on the road. They're built into the road drive over them they'll have cameras set up and lights everywhere and there's usually a light up ahead up above you and it'll ha have a green arrow pointing to the left lane the middle lane or the right lane telling you what lane you need to be in and if it has an X in the right lane and a green arrow on the left lane pretty obvious common sense go to the left lane go through the way station Let's see pull it there's usually a stop sign right before you get to the actual actual scale. 
So you stop there, put the truck in second gear, and let it idle over the scales. Don't use your gas, or don't speed over the scale, just let the truck idle itself across the scale. And there will usually be a red light that I have red, green, or yellow in front of you, in front of the scale. And it's, once your truck is fully on the scale, that light will turn red telling you to stop. And then once the officer inside the scale house gets all your weights and every checks there, everything checks out fine, he'll give you a green light and you go on. You will almost never be bothered by a way station or the officers there unless you just act like an idiot and are giving them problems. So don't be scared of way stations. Don't be nervous. There is absolutely no, re no reason to be nervous or scared of way stations. None. All right, guys. The next clips are going to show you me going through a port of entry in El Paso, Texas and a few way stations to give you an idea of what to expect. Also show you the lights that I'm talking about, the green lights, the arrows telling you what lane to be in. And any, if you're an experienced driver and you're watching this, feel free to leave some comments or some tips into the comment section below. And anything that I don't, don't cover in this video, just throw it out there. I mean, I'm making this for new drivers to help them. So if you have any tips for the new drivers, leave them in the comments. All you new drivers, if you have any questions or any videos you would like me to make, just shoot me a message and I will get right on that. All right, let's get to the clips.